Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you the Power BI DAX function all selected which is helpful in getting the totals populated for each of the column. For example, if we want to know the proportion of let's say out of 229 uh, so this is 2.29 million is the sales. So what is the contribution of 167? I need to have this 2.29 at least populated over here so that I can calculate the contribution and so on and so forth for this one. So in many scenarios this function can be useful when you are looking at the percentage of contribution and probably others based on your creative use of this uh, function. So how you can get this type of scenario, I will show you in this video. And before I move ahead, just a quick information that within description, I have three links present. The very first link is for the data source that is related to this video so that you can practice the same thing. Second is your uh, uh, Power BI videos, which is present in the Google spreadsheet where you can easily search and give based on the given link you can directly jump onto that video because sometimes the searching it within the uh, within the uh, YouTube is is problematic right it's not as easy as it's searching in a spreadsheet um, the third link is for all of my videos that is on my channel for Tableau, Click, Python, Google Data Studio and all where you can quickly search and start learning the topic which you like all right so with that let's move ahead and see how we can achieve this this particular scenario where we are populating the total figure for each of the cells for any of these categories which is given here all right for that i will click on the new measure and let me call it all selected sales all right and we will use the function calculate and we will in that we will use the sum of sales and then we will going to write the all selected so now we have all selected and then we will going to write the name of the uh, category so in this case the category for which we want the total is this subcategory so we will say subcategory um, then oops then close this the first for all selected then for calculate which is over here and press this sign equals to now in a second we have this all selected present which I can put it down there I will just select this and put it over here and now this 2.29 million is present and populated for each of these fat columns right and now if you select let's say uh, any filter for example consumer uh, so whatever the total will be over here will be populated for each of these columns that way you can further do or create any measure which is based on the calculation of this column and this column that means what is the contribution of 87,000 in the 1.1 million of total sales for the consumer category that can be one example right Similarly, you may have a different scenario which uh, for which you may need to use the all selected, but that's basically the use that uh, where you have the total populated in each column for a given category based on what you are specifying and you can get the output out of it. So that's what I wanted to show you very quickly the use of all selected sales. Similarly, you can create, you know, maybe a couple of more categories tables like this and get the totals for those uh, for the sales for the profit or whatever for example here take the profit like this 134 uh, create one more column you will get the profit maybe even same case for quantity because we have the quantity column so over here you can use the quantity and get the total for the quantity that way you should be able to practice it easily and without much of a hassle so that's mainly I wanted to show you and give you a scenario where all selected will be useful for you and you can get the most out of it. All right. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.